So it is a question related to the Thevenin's theorem. Find the current at two ohm by the Thevenin's theorem. So we we have to find out the value of current across two ohm by the Thevenin's theorem. Okay. So as per the Thevenin's theorem, this just assume this point as a A and B, right? So this the left part. From A to B will be replaced by B T H and R T H. That means equivalent diagram will be B T H B O C, and this is the R T H. This is point A and B, and here the resistance two ohm is connected. This is two ohm. is connected and the current i is flowing here then i is equals to vth divided by rth plus 2 that is the answer but we have to find the value of vth and rth first right so first Finding the value of VTH is equal to V open circuit. So the equivalent diagram for this one that is V open circuit. So this particular part will be open. So 20 ampere, 5 ohm, 9 ohm. Three ohm, six ohm, ten volts, and this particular part will be open. This A to B, and just assume my voltage B to N circuit at is equal to B terminals, right? So, see, this is a twenty ampere current from here, so twenty ampere current will go. To this point, this is 20 ampere also, and we divide in two parts. This one, this one, and again the current will go to this point and this point. Now, if you see, this part is open, this part is open, so current will flow towards this point and towards this point and again this point and not go to this point, right? So overall current. Well, this 20 ampere currents divide in this branch and this branch. So this branch become again 3 plus 6 is 9, and this is 9. So current will divide equally. That is 20 ampere current will divide equally in 10 ampere here and 10 ampere there. So we can say that the current flowing, current flowing. So six ohm is ten ampere, right? So the current in this branch will be the ten ampere, and also this branch will be the ten ampere. Okay, half half. So then the voltage drop at this point will be this voltage drop will be the sixty. This is plus and this is minus, and current flowing through it is. Six into ten, so voltage about this point will be sixty volt, right? And voltage drop is equal to sixty volt. Now, just apply the just apply the Casey equation for this part, this one. So this is a minus. This is a plus. So minus of sixty, minus of ten, and minus of V O C is equal to zero. So we can say that V O C is equal to minus of seventy. So 
this is a 10, 10 ampere current flowing through it, so the voltage drop across it will be the 60. I'll just take it as a positive in this direction, positive in this direction, negative in this direction. Then our equation become this one. So V O C will be the plus of 50. Okay. This is the V O C. And now second point. So this is V O C is equal to 50. Now second point. Now the second point for finding RTH. We have to find out the value of RTH. So the condition for RTH is just deactivate all the independent sources. So by activate, uh, deactivating this independent source it become open and by deactivating this independent source it become short. So equivalent diagram will be this 20 ampere will be open 5 ohm 3 ohm and this 10 port will be short at this is point A and after 5 ohm this is 9 ohm and before 10 ohm it is 6 ohm and this is the point B so RTH at this point will be this is 9 and this is 3 and this is 6 so we have to find out the value of RTH so RTH at this point will be the 9 plus 3 is equal to 12 in parallel to 6 so RTH is equal to 12 into 6 divided by 12 plus 6 9 plus 3 is 12 that is 1 branch and this 6 ohm is parallel with the 12 so RTH is equal to 12 into 6 upon 12 plus 6 that is 72 upon 18 this is 9 and this is and that becomes the 4 so RTH is equal to 4 ohm right so just come to the initial part of the question where I wrote the I is equal to VTH upon RTH plus of 2 so we can say that our current will be I is equal to VTH is equal to VOC is equal to 50 divided by RTH is 4 and this was the 2 so our I will be 50 upon 6 this is the method to find out the value of current across any network element by using the Thavenin's theorems. Thank you.